The magical forest was alive with the sound of music and laughter as the fairies gathered around the giant mushroom. The mushroom towered above them, casting a shadow over the enchanted forest. The fairies had come from far and wide to celebrate the mushroom's 1000th birthday, and they were determined to make it a night to remember. The music was provided by a group of fairies playing a variety of instruments, from tiny flutes to miniature harps. The sound was sweet and melodic, and the fairies danced and twirled to the beat. The mushroom seemed to sway in time with the music, and the fairies giggled with delight. As the night wore on, the fairies became more and more intoxicated by the magic of the mushroom. They drank from tiny cups filled with a potent elixir, and their laughter grew louder and more raucous. The music became faster and more frenzied, and the fairies danced with wild abandon. Suddenly, there was a loud crack, and the mushroom split in two. The fairies scattered, shrieking in terror, as the mushroom began to glow with an eerie blue light. The music stopped, and a hush fell over the forest. Out of the mushroom stepped a figure unlike any the fairies had ever seen. It was tall and slender, with skin as pale as moonlight. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and its hair was as black as the night sky. The figure spoke, and its voice was like music. Greetings, fairies. I am the guardian of the mushroom. I have been awakened by your celebration, and I have come to grant you a gift. The fairies huddled together, unsure of what to do. The guardian smiled, and its eyes glowed brighter. Do not be afraid. I mean you no harm. I have been asleep for a thousand years, and I have grown tired of my solitude. I have decided to share my power with you. With a wave of its hand, the guardian created a shower of sparkling fairy dust. The fairies gasped as the dust settled on their wings, filling them with a newfound strength and vitality. They felt as if they could fly into the moon and back, and they laughed and danced with joy. As the night wore on, the guardian continued to bestow its gifts upon the fairies. Some were given the power to control the elements, while others were granted the ability to heal the sick. The fairies were amazed by the guardian's generosity, and they thanked it with all their hearts. But then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the guardian vanished. The fairies were left alone in the forest, with only the memory of their magical night to keep them company. They knew that they had been blessed by a being of great power and wisdom, and they vowed to use their gifts to make the world a better place. And so, the enchanted mushroom became a symbol of hope and wonder, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always magic to be found. The fairies continued to dance and play in the forest, their wings sparkling with the guardian's fairy dust, and they knew that they had been forever changed by their encounter with the enchanted mushroom.